Now I want to talk a little bit about your final project, um, and which is the major uh, component of your final grade. It's worth 50% of your final class grade overall. Um, and what this is, is a uh, paper in which you're going to be sort of modeling the approach that we're taking to the materials in this course, but with a material that we're not working with in one of the modules. Uh, so your first task, uh, fairly quickly, is to pick a material that particularly interests you. And there's a list of suggested ones on the course website uh, and in the final project description. And also possibly sign up for a group. You can do this project individually, although we highly recommend that you take this on in groups of three to four people to make your lives easier. So in order to make sure that all of the groups stay on track throughout the semester and in order to help you guys so you don't all end up cramming uh, just before the final project is due, we've broken down the assignment into a series of checkpoints that'll come throughout the semester. So the first checkpoint is pretty straightforward. For, for that, you're just gonna identify the rock or mineral that you would like to work with for your project. Again, um, the, the only real requirement there is that it has to be one that we haven't already covered in detail uh, in one of the modules in the class. Uh, so you will uh, select your group at that point and, uh, and sign up for your topic. And then for the second checkpoint, you will get together and come up with a one page introduction or a one paragraph introduction to the material that you've chosen and a bibliography of a few sources that you've put together, something on the order of about five uh, references to begin doing the research for your project. And one of them can't be Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> You can use, I think, uh, up to one or two websites, but we don't want them to be all websites and we don't want them to be Wikipedia. Um, for checkpoint three, then, you're going to turn in a detailed outline of all of the pieces of your final project. And those are going to parallel just the way we've been laying out the modules throughout the course. So physical and chemical properties, of the material, how and where the material occurs in nature, uh, how those materials are removed from the earth and transported and processed to turn them into art materials, and then any kind of special symbolic uh, properties that are associated with those materials when they're used in art, and finally some case studies. And then during finals week is when the final, final project is due. And for your final project, um, we're going to have uh, some deliverables that Heather's going to tell you about. So your deliverables start with a 10-page uh, paper. That's double space, standard margins, standard font. Please don't use really fat fonts because I've seen stuff like that before. Um, and... What you want to consider that when you're thinking about whether or not to do this individually or in a group is that 10 pages divided by four people is two and a half pages per person. Think about that. Um, your paper will have eight to 10 scholarly references uh, that will be properly cited and you can use any standard citation model. Uh, your title page is going to be separate from the page count, and similarly, your bibliography will be separate from the page count. Um, you will also turn in either a narrated PowerPoint, uh, there's a way to record narrations in PowerPoint, or a short video clip, um, and in both cases we're talking like five minutes roughly, uh, that walks us through your case studies for the project. Um, and then finally, we want to know who did what um, and have some accountability for you so that uh, even though we're grading the project for the whole group, we have a sense of uh, who put in what components and we make sure that there's nobody sort of riding anyone's coattails. 
So make sure that you refer to your syllabus for the due dates for each of those checkpoints so that you can stay on top of all of your final project work throughout the semester and start thinking about what that material is going to be that you're going to want to be working with. Also, we have a bunch of resources posted for you. Uh, there are some tutorials for searching for works of art on museum sites. We have a list of uh, a number of resources, both for geoscience and art history. And never feel terrified about contacting us for some help because we know how to research in our fields. Yeah. All right. So have fun. Enjoy the final project.